Hello everybody, guys and gals and everything in between. Welcome back to another Topical Tuesday. Topical Tuesday, if you will. This is a video where we just kind of go over some Reddit posts on the old subreddit of the Lost Ark game variety. And just kind of go through some posts. This week, instead of going through some top posts, I handpicked a couple. And we'll see where we end up after this. So the first post that I curated for your fine viewing is in case you haven't seen korea did get confirmation that guardian raids are being reduced to once a day korea just had a spontaneous island event when entering they got a note confirming one guardian per day this is the note they got and this is rough translations from our good friend google um basically though if we look at the comments down here uh where is it here key points from the note new information reduction of guardian raids from two a day to one a day Traveling merchants easier to access for players who can't be there at the exact times that they appear, e.g. if a legendary card merchant appeared in your server. So what I think this means is if you're not able to log on when a merchant with a legendary card appears, they're going to do something to make it easier. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly what that means. Not too many people know or have any ideas, but basically they're looking at making it easier somehow. So that's a good thing. Updating certain content like Challenge Abish and Adventure Island card packs for players to also be able to pick a Legendary card pack 2 from them, so this is good. Near the bottom, there's names that are mentioned related to Theamine's OST. Okay, very cool, very cool. So that's the gist of it. I don't want to spend too, too much time on this, but I think this is really good, and a lot of people were like, but my Guardian raids. I don't know. That's cool. Just wanted to show that they are actually um, doing the things that they said they would. And in the video where I went over the emergency stream notes, I said, I mean, this sounds good on paper, but we'll see what happens action-wise. And, well, it's happening action-wise, so it's very good, and we're very happy. Very smiley face. Good, positive vibes from Lost Ark. Uh, this post is kind of a massive wall of text, but basically it's some guy molding about 1490s being terrible. Well, I wouldn't say molding, but... He's very upset at people not throwing battle items. And, yeah, I can definitely understand. He, the summary of this post basically is, at a certain point in Guardian Raids, you're going to have to start using battle items. Um, sure, technically you don't have to, if you really don't want to. But, you are going to get yourself excluded from a lot of groups and get a lot of people to make very angry comments at you, and you're just going to extend the period in which a Guardian raid takes for everyone involved, including yourself, if you don't get kicked. So basically, battle items, very simple. I'll sum up this post. There is numbers on your party. Uh, when you're in the party, you see the party list, names, there'll be numbers next to the name. There'll be party member one, two, three, four. You get the idea. Party member one usually always flares. Party number two and three usually pharaoh. Party number four usually either corrosive, destructions, something like that. Something that helps pass the mechanic check. Uh, that's for a party finder group. If you're matchmaking, just call out whatever item you're going to use. You know, man, it's not that difficult. Just call out the item you're going to use. Bang, bang, boom, be on with your day. Another thing that I think is worth mentioning here, use HP pots, man. Especially if you're doing Guardian Raids, just pot, brother. One blue HP potion costs less than one Marvelous Honor Leapstone. If you're doing Caligos, you're making profit, even if you use five pots. So, just pot, or take less damage. One or the boat. You know, you know. I think it was worth mentioning, but yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you taking Reddit on a learning journey. I, however, largely assume your target audience isn't this. Yeah. I mean, same here, but I figure it's worth mentioning for the couple new people that I do know I have. Um, again, this isn't like explicitly said anywhere, so I think it's worth informing people. Instead of just getting angry at people. But yes, battle items very useful. And it will make people hate you less. And it will also make you hate the game less. Anyways. Final post that I wanted to go over. And this is going to be a bit of a long one, so strap in. Uh, AGS, you have to do these things first. 
Very controversial. I'm sorry, English is not my first language. Merge servers ASAP, not region for now. I agree with region merge too, to be honest. For example, North America West has too many servers. Only Vault and Amari have enough number of players. I am playing in Mari. Uh, while I don't know his claim to be true or not, because I only play on Mari as well, I do know Vault and Mari are significantly more populated than the rest of the West servers. Uh, I know that to be 100% true. Another thing that has been quite annoying over the lifespan of the game, especially now since the player base has um, sort of settled into the people who are in for the long haul and then the slow trickle of new players. Playing with people from different servers is very, 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 very obnoxious. One of my friends that I play with pretty much exclusively, they're on Shandi. I am on Mari. I cannot trade them anything. I cannot mail them anything. I cannot party invite them. I have to party finder invite them to everything. We can't queue for random things like challenge abyss. We have to party finder everything. Can't trade. It's obnoxious. Please just make one server per region. I 100% agree. This should be done. I do not know why it is not done at this point. The thing about Lost Ark is its player base is not bad. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Copium, Copium, dead game, it's dying, lol, 20k concurrent. But I'm going to blow your mind here. 20k concurrent players, this number is not bad. This is a healthy game number. Copium, Copium, it's not 200,000 million bazillion. No, really, this number is fine. This is concurrent users. This means people logged into the game currently. This is not average unique daily users or anything else. This is current players logged into the game right now. That is a good number. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the bigger chart here. Most played MMO games, again from SteamDB. This is just a chart of 100 most played MMO tagged games. So look at all these concurrents. Rust at 90k, obviously. Very popular game. Very active. War Thunder, 48k, another very popular, very active game. Daisy, 40k, Ark, 40k, Battlebit, 30k, Final Fantasy Online, 30k. I don't know what this weeb shit even is, but it's at 29k. Black Desert at 25k, good job, BDO. Proud of you, bud. VR Chat at 23, Lost Ark at 23, Elder Scrolls Online at 18, PoE at 16, New World at 6. Damn, New World's making a comeback, eh? Fallout 76 at 8k, wowie. Albion Online at 8k? Would people call Albion Online dead? I mean, if you don't like the game, probably. But you get the idea here. Obviously, some of these games have uh, significantly more players than others. Some of these games have their own standalone launcher, which don't add to the Steam DB counts. But the point I'm trying to make Lost Ark's current player base, uh, like their current concurrent users, is not bad it is fine do you know what the problem really is there's too many goddamn servers that's the problem i don't know why well i mean i guess i understand why but i don't understand why it's taking them so long i guess it's because the whole chinese release and whatever but they need to condense our servers it made sense initially obviously pretty much every big mmo goes through this phase especially if it's super popular on launch which lost Ark was you make a bunch of servers so a bunch of people can play and then when the game gets you know less popular the hype is over the initial hype you get your regular player base you start to see what that regular player base is and then you trim the fat problem is lost Ark. Smilegate has not trimmed to the fat. We still have every single server we had from launch, minus uh, EUS. But, well, I, I shouldn't say that. Uh, I think EUC got some merges too. I don't even remember. It's been so long. Some server merges happened. Look, I just know EUS got merges at some point. But server merges aren't the only thing we need. We need some sort of if not region merge, 
cross-region play or something similar, or at the very least, this guy's second point, merge auction house with other regions. This should be done. Um, there is... Uh, so, okay. I was going to say there is no reason this shouldn't be done, but there is a reason it shouldn't be done, and there is a reason why I think it hasn't been done. Let me pop on over to Lost Ark um, just for a moment here, and let us hop into the Blue Crystal store, and I'll show you why I think it hasn't been done. If we go down here to click Buy Crystals. What do we see? We see, well, I can purchase 12,000 Royal Crystals for 100 US dollar dues. Now, if I were in a different country, this would be different. So that is, is what I assume is the reason why they haven't done this. Do I think this is a good reason? Um, Honestly, no. Reason being? Yes, different regions have different buying power with their currency, but... Whales, despite where they are located, are still going to whale despite the price of things. Um, and it only helps poorer regions, in my opinion. So poorer exchange rate regions are just poorer regions in general, like South America. The exchange rate for South America, for the most part, is quite poor, and it does not uh, lead to conclusive or conducive gameplay. And you can see that in their incredibly high blue crystal prices, as their prices don't make sense in terms of buying crystals or their money. That is all to say, this should happen. Merge Auction House with other regions. Uh, merge the Blue Crystal Market as well. There is no reason to have these separate at this point. I firmly believe that. Any damage that could be done is, I think, significantly offset by the positive impact this can and would have, I think. Obviously, my opinion, my opinion alert. He has an opinion. It's an opinion alert. But, like I said, this concurrent player base number, like, this is fine. Its problem is not the number. Its problem is how spread thin these numbers are. Um, it would be less noticeable if things like the auction house were merged, if there were only one server per region. There were less regions, obviously, like North America West and North America East combined, for example. EU West, EU C combined, etc., etc. You get the idea. Um, I'm interested to see, because obviously they are upcoming in August with the merge. We will see how that goes. And hopefully from there, they take a serious look at this and they try to do something. Because they need to do something. And, I mean, they still have plenty of time to do something. It's just, you know, they have to do the thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and then his third point is do something to recruit new and returning players. I don't mind giving them a lot of free materials, etc., etc. This kind of already exists in the form of, like, the super juicy hyper expresses. But I, I have been a prop uh, proponent of, like... I don't know, giving them something else. Like, my loose idea I had a long time ago was just, like, maybe for every Hyper Express, if the account is like, been dormant for a certain amount of time, or it's a newer account, or whatever, instead of one Hyper Express pass, maybe they get two. I don't know. Uh, or Hyper Express event total. But, I do agree that something does need to be done here to at least incentivize more people to feel like they can um, at least make some meaningful amounts of progress. But I think the server merge thing definitely should happen, like, yesterday. I mean, it should have happened months ago at this point. Once the player base sort of equaled out and they saw what their regular user base looked like, they should have done it, in my opinion. Why didn't they? Well, they don't have the technology. Obviously, Smilegate was busy developing China, etc., etc. I mean, we can make as many assumptions as we want. The reality is, it didn't happen, and it needed to happen. Like, you see, right around probably May, June is where I probably would have considered condensing all of the servers down to one mega server. But we definitely need it now. No shot that we don't get it. 
And if we don't get it, then I am a sad boy because it needs to happen. And the auction house thing, I don't think it's necessarily game breaking for every region aside from maybe South America and EUS right now. But I do think it's only going to get worse and worse. So I definitely think this should be done sooner rather than later, merging the auction houses and the currency exchange. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thought on the matter. Um, this is sort of the main thing I wanted to talk about this episode. As you can clearly see, the majority of the episode was me talking about it. But it needs to be talked about. Because, I mean, I'm like really not a doomer on this game. Um, obviously, I think it's just... It's easy to be super negative. But if you look at it from a perspective that isn't clouded with like sort of just looking at every bad decision they've made compounding on each other there's still a lot good that they've done and there's a lot more good that they can still do but now is like the vital point to where if they continue to not do these things um it's probably not going to end well and i don't like that too much but if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't you know there's always going to be a new game out there unfortunately even despite how good this game is um, at its core gameplay mechanic. But that's my opinion. And obviously everybody has their own opinions. But let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Leave a comment down below. Letting me know your thoughts. Thank you to all my YouTube members. My tier 2's Blitzel, Remix My Life, Erezaik, Peachy. Uh, I'm Nufu. That's the one I was forgetting. How could I forget Nufu, my boy? Uh, my tier 1's. It's Biscuits, Ender, Diz, Cloudy, Dangerous, Joxini, Prince Nation, and Clater. Consider becoming a YouTube member. Help support the channel. XOXO, Gossip Girl, out. Bye!